Mad Majesty. <laughs> All right, my friends, today we're going to be talking about combining complete sentences into compound and complex sentences. Let's get into it. So the first thing we got to know is a sentence complete. We're not going to be combining incomplete sentences. So let's take a quick look. I'm going to put down my first sentence. Don't make fun of my handwriting. The hikers entered the forest all right easy peasy i'm gonna put my next sentence the world i fixed it became quiet all right so how do we check if a sentence is complete we just have to make sure it always has a subject and a predicate a what right and a what is that doing or what is that thing so let's take a look our first subject is the hikers easy peasy well what about the hikers they entered the forest all right so we know our first sentence is complete let's take a look at the next one the world is our subject what about the world became quiet. All right, so we know we have two complete sentences. If we want to combine them, the first and easiest way is to use our first little song. Yes, that's right. If it's complete on the left, complete on the right, it takes a comma and a fanboy to make it right. Yes. So I'm going to write that down. I'm going to choose a good color for it. Let's go with poo-poo. Complete on the left. Complete on the right. It takes a comma. Oops, double N, my friend. And a fan boy to make it right. All right, so I'm going to leave that down there. Now, always remember, complete on the left, complete on the right. It takes a comma and a fan boy to make it right. What does that mean? If you're going to combine these two sentences, you have to make sure that it's complete on the left, right? This is complete. Let's go with poopoo again. This is complete. Complete on the right. Okay, let's take off our first period and we're going to add some new stuff. Now, complete on the left, complete on the right. It's going to take a comma. Ooh, and a fanboy to make it right. Okay, so now, what is a fanboy? Conjunctions, conjunction, junction, what's your function? I know you guys remember that. Fanboys, I'm just going to put it here on the right. Fanboy. That's four and nor, but, or, yet, so. That was a weirdo. Okay, so these are basically sentence connectors, right? All you need to do is pick the one that makes sense. So when I look at them, I'm going to say them when I connect them to see if it sounds right to me. Let's try four first. The hikers entered the forest, for the world became dark. That doesn't really make a whole lot of sense. Let's try and. The hikers entered the forest, and the world became quiet. Perfect. All righty. So the fanboy I need to use is and. So all you have to do is just remember your song. Complete on the left. Complete on the right. It's going to take a comma and a fanboy 
to make it right. So there's our compound sentence. Once we check that, that both of them are complete, we can add a comma and a conjunction just to add them together into a compound sentence. Why would we want to do that? It makes us sound a lot more fluid. It gives a lot more meaning to the overall idea that we're trying to say. Because if we only spoke in simple sentences, we would sound very simple, like a, you know, kind of like how a little kid talks. And we want to be telling whole concise stories or be giving big uh, overall ideas. So we want to start combining our sentences so that we start, you know, contributing to bigger ideas and not just small ones one right after another. Okay, now there's another way to combine these sentences. So I'm going to go back in time, time, time. There goes my word. So if I want to combine it using another way. I can actually make this a complex sentence. I like complex sentences because they sound really nice, but you have to know the rule. One, 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 my job is done. You also have to know what an independent and a subordinate clause is. So let's get into it. Right here, I am just going to write a run-on sentence. I think it sounds fantastic, and we're going to see if there's any problem with it. When the hikers entered the forest, the world became quiet. So, right here, this is actually a run-on sentence. It's a run-on sentence because we can already see multiple subjects and predicates. Let's take a look. What's our first subject? Well, our first subject, the hikers. Well, what about the hikers? So, what's the predicate? What did the hikers do well they entered the forest but already i don't see any punctuation and i see another subject the world well what did the world do became quiet right here we have a bit of an issue we have two subjects and two predicates that aren't separated by anything and they have to be at least separated by some sort of punctuation, especially when we have this word in front. When. Okay, so we're going to take a look at this. Now that we broke it up just to see where our subjects and predicates are, that's going to do a really big favor for us. So I'm going to write our next little chat so you remember it. One, 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 my job is done. One, 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 my job is done. What's the one, one, one? Well, you need one subordinating clause. Right? One comma and one independent clause so what's a subordinating clause a subordinating clause or a dependent clause all it really is it's a complete sentence but it doesn't really work well on its own so I'm going to just pick this out for you. When the hikers entered the forest. That is technically a complete sentence, isn't it? It has a subject. Mm -hmm. It has a predicate. But this word, when. That makes it a subordinating clause or a dependent clause. Because if you were just to say it on its own, it wouldn't make much sense. If I just walked up to you and I was like, when the hikers entered the forest, you're going to be waiting for more information. When the hikers entered the forest, what? That little sense of what 
is telling me, then I need more information. So the thing that you need after that is just a pure piece of information that completes it. The world became quiet. Now, this one is independent. Even if I said it on its own, it would make sense. The world became quiet. You see, makes sense. But if I walked up to you and I was like, when the hikers entered the forest, you're going to be waiting for more info. So we have our one, our subordinating clause. Now we need our second one so we can get our job done. And our second thing is, well, that's a comma. And that's going to come before the next subject after the first predicate. Right, right in between. Right when the first subordinating clause ends, why did you take my comma away? Right there is where our comma goes. And there's our one, 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 our job is done. We have one subordinating clause, one comma, and one independent clause. Easy peasy. One, 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 my job is done. As long as that comma is there and you have a clarifying complete sentence afterwards, it's beautiful writing. All right, my friends, thank you so much for joining me with just a little bit of compound and complex sentences. I hope you have a wonderful evening. Ba 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 bye Hey, friendos, thanks for watching. Remember, we can only have a brighter future with the brighter you. Bye.